In this video, I'm going to show you how to get instant pressure on the quarterback from the nickel 335 wide formation in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that we do that is through videos just like this one that share different tips and strategies that you can use to be able to become more effective as a Madden player in this game. All right, guys, so uh, we're going to be talking today about a blitz out of the nickel 335 wide. But if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. That's completely free to do. I also wanted to let you know that if you would like to get the defensive ebook that shows the full scheme, um, not just the blitz or not just one coverage, but the entire defensive game plan, that is available for you in the description. Um, it's just 15 bucks. It's on 335 wide, and it's the best, in my opinion, defense in the entire game. So uh, we're going to take a look today at a user rush tactic out of the 335 and all you're going to do is you're going to audible to the um it doesn't really matter what i like to personally do it out of cover four show two but you can do it out of really anything so we're going to audible to cover four show two and what you want to do is you want to shift your defensive line to the side same side as the running back as you can see right here we're going to crash our defensive line out we're going to blitz all of our linebackers. And then what I'm going to simply do for the quarter side of things is I'm just going to adjust. And what I like to do is I like to put um, essentially play cover two on the right side. So you're going to see a soft squat and a deep half. And then obviously I'm going to use her kind of right in this little pocket right here. Now, what I'm going to do with my user is I'm going to put him on a curl flat zone just like this right here instead of on a blitz. Um, normally we'd put him on a blitz, but when you blitz, you want to actually want to use a rush. You don't want him on a blitz. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to kind of hold down on the left joystick just a little bit. Not enough to move our player, but just a little bit. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to run right through the A-gap there. And we're going to basically dive at the quarterback. Now, um, normally what's going to happen... Two things are going to happen. Number one, you're going to get a lot of strip sack fumbles um, and things like that using this tactic. Number two is you're going to get a lot of under pressure penalties. So they're going to get penalized for throwing the ball under pressure. But as you see, see how fast that that user rush can get on to the quarterback. So let me show you. Um, let me show you another uh, another tactic that you can use. This is a little bit more. I think better. Um, but basically, you're going to stand over here on the left side now. And then what you're going to do is same exact strategy, right? Same exact strategy, but now you're on the opposite side. And what you'll see here, you run right through the A-gap. Now, this is a six-man pressure. I mean, it's obvious that it's a six-man pressure, but the beauty of it is how well you can come right through the A-gap with this. So um, let me show you some other little strategies. You can get really, you can get fairly close. You can get like right in this little pocket here. But as you see, if you get too close, they will pick you up. So you want to leave enough margin for yourself to be able to um, get in a pretty good position. And this is a nice little uh, play that you could use to kind of bluff with some of your other plays if you wanted to stand directly over the center you could but as you can see here he's much more apt to pick you up so really what you're kind of doing is you're kind of going to hide behind the defensive line just for a second before the ball snapped and then you're going to go now obviously as far as the coverage goes you do need to be aware you're sitting six so you only have five people in coverage now you can do this from a man look you can also do this from a zone look the beauty of this is the pressure gets on so fast especially if they're not blocking a running back if you see that they block a running back you just want to basically go and, and lurk back into coverage but you can also do this from the Mike Blitz O which is a man coverage and what you're gonna see here is this is Mike Blitz O and again this is man coverage right here so we're gonna spread our shift our line to the right crash our line out and then we're going to put our user on a purple zone and at the snap of the ball, if the running back goes out on a route, you'll see there. Sometimes they'll slide over if you do it over and over again. But this is something that you want to mix in, you know, once or twice a game to be able to really put some pressure on your opponent. And I promise you, once you do it one time, they will never forget that you do it. 100% guaranteed. Once you do this user rush one time, it just takes one time for you to do this. They literally will never forget what you just did to them, and they will be scared to death, okay? So in my opinion, this is a great little user rush that you can really use to be able to get a lot of pressure on your opponent. Another little thing that you could do, like let's say you're playing trips tight in, and normally this guy would be like right in here. 
you could also use a rush around the edge with him. So the use a rush tactic this year I think is very effective, and I think it's very effective if done in the right way. And so this is one of the ways that I like to use the use a rush from this defense. The beauty of the 3-3-5 wide, in my opinion, is the defense is just structured so well for the user rush to be able to be very effective. So, again, if you want to get the full scheme from the 3-3-5 wide, it's a very simple scheme to learn, but it's a very effective scheme to run defensively and really helps you to learn how to stop some of the best offenses in the entire game. That link is available for you in the description. Now, that's defense is just $15, but if you're still on the fence and you don't know if you want to buy it or not, I actually have a free one-hour sample video of the 335 wide defense and that's available only to people who have texted me so if you have not texted me yet you can do so today if you pull out your phone my cell phone number is 812-216-3644 that's also my personal cell phone number so if you have any Madden questions you can also ask me via text message there I don't normally do a whole lot of phone calls but I do a ton of texting so if you want to get that sample, go ahead and shoot me a text message. I'd love to connect with you that way. And again, if you want to go ahead and just get the ebook, it's just 15 bucks, and I believe it's going to definitely help you. We've had people that have become top 100 weekend play league players. We've had people that have uh, qualified for the Madden Classic using these tools. So I would guarantee you that these this defensive strategy guide is very, very worth it and very much so going to be very effective for you. So I want to thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you on tonight's stream at 10 p.m. Eastern Time.